Now Jesus was the son, as was thought, of Joseph, son of Heli, son of Mathat, son of Levi, son of Melchi, son of Jani, son of Joseph, son of Mattathias, son of Amos, son of Nahum, son of Esli, son of Nagai, son of Maath, son of Mattathias, son of Simeon, son of Josek, son of Jodah, son of Jonan, son of Resha, son of Zerubbabel, son of Shealtiel, son of Neri, son of Melchi, son of Adai, son of Kasam, son of Elmadam, son of Er, son of Joshua, son of Eliezer, son of Joram, son of Mathat, son of Levi, son of Simeon, son of Judah, son of Joseph, son of Jonan, son of Eliakim, son of Melia, son of Minna, son of Mathatha, son of Nathan, son of David, son of Jesse, son of Obed, son of Boaz, son of Selah, son of Nashon, son of Aminadab, son of Admin, son of Arni, son of Hezron, son of Perez, son of Judah, son of Jacob, son of Isaac, son of Abraham, son of Terah, son of Nahor, son of Sarag, son of Reu, son of Peleg, son of Eber, son of Shelah, son of Canaan, son of Shem, son of Noah, son of Lamech, son of Methuselah, son of Enoch, son of Jared, son of Mahalil, son of Canaan, son of Enos, son of Seth, son of Adam, son of God.
In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and the family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there were no place for them in the inn. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the shepherds had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has been taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger.
isn't it a beautiful day in our UCC neighborhood? I'm so glad that all of you can be here this evening. As I'm getting changed, I hope that some of the kids can come forward and start gathering on the carpet over here. You know, neighbors, whenever I think about Christmas Eve, I think about a time of togetherness. I think about being together with family and friends. I think about coming together and sitting down for a story. You know, one of my favorite traditions growing up was that I would sit down and my parents would read me the night before Christmas. We're not going to read the night before Christmas tonight, but we're going to read a story that maybe you've heard and maybe you haven't. It's called The Legend of the Poinsettia. Does anyone know what a poinsettia is? Mommy? Uh, a flower. Do you see any? You, you haven't seen any? Kid, do you see any? No? Look, I bet if you look right behind you, you'll see some. Do you see those poinsettias? I'm going to read you this story, and adults, you can see the pictures too, because they're going to be up on the screen. Lucina lived in a small village high in the mountains of Mexico with her papa, her mama, and her younger brother and sister, Paco and Lupe. Papa worked in the fields with their burro, Pepito, and every evening, Lucida fed Pepito, gave him fresh water, and filled his stall with clean straw. At home, Lucida helped Mama clean their casita, their little house, and pet out the tortillas for their meals. She took care of Paco and Lupe, and each evening, they went to the shrine of the Virgin of Guadalupe near the front gate to see if fresh candles were needed. But every day was not work. On Sundays, the family went to San Gabriel in the square where Padre Alvarez said the Mass. And all through the year, there were fiestas and holy days, which always began with a procession that wound through the village and into San Gabriel, into the church. One day, close to Christmas, La Navidad, Padre Alvarez came to their casita. Ah, Senora Martinez, buenos dias, good day. Padre Alvarez said, I'm here to ask you about the blanket which covers baby Jesus in the Christmas procession. We've used the same one for so many years, and it's almost worn out. Because your weaving is so fine, I've come to ask you if you would make a new one. Mi padre, Lucida's mother said, I would be honored, and Lucida will help me. One Saturday, Lucida and Mama went to the market to buy the wool for the blanket. They chose the finest yarn they could find. At home, Lucida helped Mama dye the wool all the colors of the rainbow. Those colors will shine throughout the church, Papa said, as he watched Lucida and Mama string the yarn on the loom. As Christmas drew closer, everyone in the village was busy. All the mamas were making gifts to place at the manger of baby Jesus in the church. The papas worked together, putting up the manger scene in San Gabriel. Lucida and the other children went to the church for singing practice for the Christmas Eve procession, when everyone would walk to San Gabriel singing and carrying candles. Once inside, Padre Alvarez would lay the figure of the baby Jesus in the manger, and the villagers would go up and they would place their gifts all around the manger. See our manger over there? They would come into the church and they would place all their gifts around the manger. And Lucida's gift would be the blanket for the baby Jesus. She told her friends, I'm helping my mama weave it. One afternoon, a few days before Christmas Eve, Lucida and the children were singing in the church when Senora Gomez came hurrying in. Lucida! You must come home. Your mama is sick, and your papa has taken her down to the town to see the doctor. You must take care of your brother and your sister until your papa returns tonight. Lucida was frightened. 
Mama had never been sick before. When she got home, Papa, Paco and Lupe were crying. They were frightened too. Lucida tried to comfort them. She made some food and sat down to wait for Papa. That evening, Papa came in and he was looking tired and worried. He drew Lucida close to him and said, Lucida, mi niña, your mamá is ill. Your aunt, Tia Carmen, will take care of mamá until she is well. But I must go back and stay with mamá until I can bring her home. But that won't be until after Christmas. Senora Gomez will take care of you and Paco and Lupe while I'm gone. Still, she will come for you tomorrow. The next afternoon, Lucida overheard two women talking. Lucida's mama is ill, one said. She won't be able to finish the blanket for the procession. Isn't it a shame? See, si, the other woman said, we are all so disappointed. Padre Alvarez will have to use that old, worn-out one. When Lucida went home to feed Pepito and to get clothes for Paco, Lupe, and herself, she looked at the unfinished blanket on the loom. Perhaps I can finish it, she thought. But she sat down and tried to weave, and the yarn got tangled. And the more she tried to untangle it, the worse it got. It was no use. She couldn't finish it by herself. She took the unfinished blanket to Senora Gomez. Oh, Lucida, it is so tangled. There isn't time for me to fix it, Senora Gomez told her. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. Lucida started to cry. It was her fault the blanket was ruined. Her family wouldn't have a gift to place at the manger of baby Jesus. Don't worry, Lucida, we'll all go to the procession together. Lucida didn't say anything. But in her heart, she felt like she had ruined Christmas. Come, Paco, come, Lupe. It's time for the procession, Senora Gomez called on Christmas Eve. Where's Lucida? She was nowhere to be found. She was hiding. From the shadows, Lucida watched everyone gather for the procession. The candles were lit, the singing began, and the villagers walked to San Gabriel, carrying gifts to place at the manger. Lucida walked along in the darkness and watched the procession go into the church, followed by Padre Alvarez carrying the baby Jesus. Little girl, are you Lucida? An old woman stood in the shadows nearby. See, si, Lucida answered, wondering who she was. I have a message for you. Your mama is going to be fine. Your papa will be bringing her home soon, so you don't have to worry. Go now into the church and celebrate Christmas with the others. Paco and Lupe are waiting for you. I can't, Lucida told her. I don't have a gift for baby Jesus. Mama and I were weaving a beautiful blanket, but I couldn't finish it. I tried, but I only got tangled. I only tangled it all up. What do you think the old woman said? I wonder what she said to her. She said, ah, Lucida, any gift is beautiful because it's given. Whatever you give the baby Jesus will love because it comes from you. But what can I give now, Lucida said, looking around? And what do you think she grabbed? Poinsettia? A patch of tall green weeds that grew in a tangle nearby. Lucida rushed over and picked an armful. Do you think these will be all right? Lucida turned to ask the old woman, but she was gone. Lucida walked into the church. It was blazing with candlelight. The children were singing, and she walked quietly down the aisle with a bundle of green weeds. What is Lucida carrying, a woman whispered. Why, she's bringing weeds into the church, another one murmured. Lucida reached the manger scene. She placed the green weeds around the stable. Then she lowered her head and she prayed. A hush fell over the church. Voices began to whisper. Look, look at the weeds. Lucida opened her eyes and looked up, and each weed was tipped with a flaming red star. The manger glowed and shimmered as if lit by a hundred 
candles. When everyone went outside after Mass, all the clumps of tall green weeds throughout the town were shining with red stars. Lucida's simple gift had indeed become beautiful. And every Christmas to this day, the red stars shine on top of green branches in Mexico, and the people call the plants La Flor de Noche Buena, the flower of the holy night, the poinsettias. Do you see all those poinsettias over there? And the way that their flowers make a star, like the ones that the Magi followed to Bethlehem. So as you, as you get up and start going to the back, why don't you take a look at the poinsettias on your way? Thank you for coming up for story time. And thank you, neighbors. It's always so beautiful to be together. I'm grateful for all of those in the neighborhood. You know, the gifts that we give really are special to God. Every gift that we give, God loves because it's inspired by that great gift that God gave to us. You know, tonight as we gather, we remember that gift that God gave to us, the gift of Emmanuel, God with us, and we rejoice that God is with us. Neighbors, thanks for being with us this evening in the neighborhood. I hope that the gifts you give might be spread with all the world so that everyone might know God's love. May it be so. Um,
get a white Christmas here in San Diego and I think some of us might miss it I know that not everyone got a candle and so if you didn't get a candle I hope the light will burn forth from your soul grateful that you are all here And now that there's a bit of snow floating in the air, friends, will you please rise and let's sing Silent Night together.
Friends, behold, a light shines in the darkness, and the darkness shall never overcome it. In just a few moments, you will go forth from this place. And when you do, go forth filled with the love of God, ready to spread joy to the world. May it be so. Amen.